Hi there, I'm Malcolm Cesar, your host of the Super Affiliates Biz Leads Automation Summit. And today I'm really excited about this session, guys. I'm thrilled to introduce you to David Moore. David is a paid traffic and media buy partnerships expert. He has an abundance of knowledge in marketing, drop shipping. He works with Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi. You know, David, last month alone, guys, spent $30,000 on YouTube ads, which is mind blowing to me. And today we're going to be talking about you know, how to leverage the power of YouTube ads to generate highly profitable campaigns. So, David, it's great to have you on this session. Awesome, man. Awesome, man. Thank you for the kind words. Definitely uh, worked with a couple of uh, fancy gurus. Yeah. Um, and yeah, man, I'm excited. I've been uh, I've been doing media buy for the past year. I've been in affiliate market uh, in affiliate marketing for over four years now. Uh, but just in the last year, I kind of we, we the, the idea for the media buy partnership came from affiliate marketing and saying, hey, listen, we've been doing this for affiliate marketing for so long. How can we do this with every business? Um, so what do we need to bring into our business to allow to do this with every business? Um, so it's not just, you know, specific affiliate offers or some of like that. So what we're doing is basically it's, it sounds media by partnership, but, but, but what we're basically doing is affiliate marketing on steroids. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's really much what it is. Uh, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you, we get to design the affiliate program. We get to design the commissions. We get to design everything in the background. So we get to do everything, all the partnership uh part and the affiliate part which is typically you know is like that's the problematic part like you're like right. oh should i get well they're only giving me 10 percent. they're only giving 20 so we have like industry standards so we already know what works our numbers wise so for us to to turn a profit as a company plus uh, allowing it to be an amazing affiliate program as well for others to come in so that's kind of our uh, our game at yeah awesome awesome so yeah uh, affiliate marketing funnels have become increasingly important in modern day marketing strategies. Uh, these funnels help affiliates channelize their website traffic to help streamline flow through each stage of the funnel. And you know, the secret to our dynamic killer affiliate funnel is to use a funnel structure that works. So what are like the top five or so funnels that you use for your affiliate marketing business? Uh, to be honest, as an affiliate, all you need is either a bridge page um, or a really good converting sales page from, from, from the company that, that you're, you're affiliated with. If they have a good sales page and, and, and they don't have a problem with you running traffic directly to it. So mm -hmm. it's a good, it's a good way to do it. If you, so here's the thing, right? Essentially as an affiliate, what you want to do as an affiliate, what you're basically doing is you're building someone else's business. Right. That's for fact. So if they anytime change their offer, they change anything that happens um, on their end, you can either benefit from it or you can lose from it. Look at Amazon, right? Mm -hmm. Four years ago, Amazon had the most amazing affiliate program. Today, they just announced update that's, that, that's going to take place tomorrow. It's going to become the worst affiliate program ever. You know what I mean? So, but, but on your end as an affiliate, nothing has really truly changed, right? You're still doing the same thing. You're still doing the same blogs. You're still driving traffic from different sources, right? You're like, you're still doing all the same stuff you did before, but now you're just making less money. Right. right. So the, the idea is you always helping someone else build their business. The fact is you're, 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 you're monetizing Amazon. Suddenly they change. What are you left with? You left with a bunch of leads that are connected to a specific either product service, uh, Amazon buy, something like that. And you can't really monetize it truly unless you bring in other affiliate programs or products and you kind of try to do that. And, and, and it loses, I would say, the consistency of your list. You know, it loses the consistency of your message, right? You can start in one place. And I can tell you that as, as myself, being inside this online business sphere for the past probably four years, affiliated with different programs, different products, I can tell you that I've built a list. I kept on building that list. And I've, every time I changed my affiliate offers or stuff like that, I got hit. I got hit with unsubscribers. I got hit with people not interested. I got hit with... I call it fan mail, but it's not really fan mail. <laughs> it's the other way of fan mail, uh, right? Like unsubscribe me. This is BS. I didn't sign up with this, right? So you got you to gotta understand that essentially what you want to do is you want to build your business. And if you can build your business and you can build a list around your business, your offers are constantly going to change because they're your offers as a business, right? And if at the back end of your offers are some affiliate offers, that's cool. 
Do you know what I mean? That's, that's absolutely cool, right? Because, hey, affiliate marketing became acceptable in the last two years. <laughs> it became, people kind of recognized that it exists and then it became acceptable to buy with someone else's link so they can make money off introducing me to this product. It became ideologically perfect. So if we talk about funnels, what you want to do in funnels is position yourself first. So if you are affiliated with a product, yeah, you can get a bridge page and send people to the website to buy it over there, no problem. Or what I think is better is buy at your website where you're making the money and you're doing the deliverables through your affiliate products. Okay. Do you know what I mean? You've kind of those, those kind of two options, right? But what you want to do is always build yourself first. Like, you know, if you're selling right now, we're diving into a CBD partnership, for example. So we're going to sell some affiliate offers. So how can we make that affiliate offer convert better for us than it converts for the, for the original person, right? We have to build a business around us. What do we offer mm -hmm. with, that that affiliate what, why should you buy the affiliate program with, through us why should you buy that product with with our link through this through this pipe and not just go randomly on google search for that for that company and buy on their official website okay right and that's how you're building your business you're always offering people something right if I'll they do. buy this product and when they buy this product you just give it to them and they're like yeah i love you for giving me this stuff and i bought that product because i i use it anyhow yeah you know what I mean? But who's the front end? You are because the bonuses come from you. The, the extras come from you. They can't get it anywhere else. If you have any problems with the bonus, it'll come to you. If, if You know what I mean? If they get the value, they'll come to you back, right? That's the cool part. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, let's talk about effective advertising. You know, effective advertising reaches potential customers and informs them of your product or services. And ideally, uh, advertising should capture the prospective customer's intention and entice them to use your product. And regardless of the method, all of your advertising should be clear and consistently reflect the unique positioning statement of your business. And just because you advertise doesn't mean you're automatically guaranteed a successful campaign. So what is the mindset of successfully advertising uh, specifically with YouTube ads? So here's the thing, right? The most successful campaign out there is video video right by far it has nothing to do with facebook youtube google whatever it has to do with us as humans we like to consume video so if you want number one effectiveness like if you want overnight flip and i can give you some examples on between facebook and youtube numbers but let's not go into that but if you want to change drastically your campaigns from the way they are right now drastically make a change put video do the same thing, but in video. Here's the cool part. On Facebook, here's how to make videos on Facebook really cool. Grab the images, throw them on Facebook. There's a button there inside your ad. When you're dialing the ad, there's a button that says, make a video. And a screen will pop up, and you'll be able to take those pictures and make a video out of them. Mm -hmm. And deliver this. And I could tell you, it might sound stupid, but it will convert better than each and one of the images individually. Okay because it's a video and it has a little bit of tune of music. And when people scroll through their feed, right? What you want to get is you want to get to people's comfort zone, right? You don't want people who are just going through their Facebook feed, just like that, running through it, checking out their friends, checking out what everybody else is doing. You don't want, like, those people are great. They happen, that happens, that attention does. But what I personally like is I like in, in feed, feed videos. So when the purchase is all, when the per when the person is already in a mindset of absorbing content, you know what I mean. So when they're already sucking in the content and they're in state, right? They're lying in their couch, they're sitting on the toilet, and they're just watching videos one after another, and suddenly your video comes out, right? I've noticed that the big brands, Mercedes, and I've noticed all these bigger brands they do that. And I kind of started diving into like, why do they do this like two second, five second, 10 second videos, right? Just to get right into your back. Cause they come from here, from your device. Like let's say this is your device comes from here and right, right into the back of your head. And, and it plants it in the back of your head that this company exists, right? That's why I remember Mercedes. Cause I actually saw their ad like pop up for three and a half seconds and, yeah. and, and it, and they understand that, right? So if we want to, get into a consumer subconsciousness and, and, and put ourselves, we need to put the consumer 
we need to approach not to put the consumer but we need to approach the consumer when they're ready to 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 observe what we have to say okay do you know what i mean yeah definitely, definitely. that's how i kind of see it that's why i think video works well that's why youtube works so well because why ask yourself the question why do you go to youtube you know what I mean? <laughs> Why do you go to YouTube, right? You go to YouTube to watch what educational videos, right? Or, or, or whatever you want to know how to do whatever, how to, right? How to are the best or product researches, right? Those, those uh, unboxing videos for different products, right? Or, or review videos, right? Sometimes review videos are 15 to 20 minutes, right? And they have I don't know, 50 to 70% watch rate and, and people observe that. So when you show your ad, when a person is sitting in front of the screen and they're watching and they're ready to watch a 15 minute video, because a video on YouTube, you know exactly how much it is when you decide to watch it, mm -hmm. right? And your patterns of watching it also the same, right? You can watch it in one phrase or you can watch it in bumping and jumping in jumping sections, right? But you're observing content. So when the ad shows up, it's the best time to catch to catch the person and, and just get right into the back of their subconsciousness. Awesome, awesome. And so we've always uh, touted affiliate marketing as a low cost way to get more sales. You know, after all the very nature of a commission structure, you know, means you only spend money when a sale is made, but sometimes, especially when you're starting out, you might need to loosen your purse strings to get some traction. And if you have an affiliate program, you know, finding good affiliates or any affiliates affiliates at all can be quite tricky and it does take time and patience to attract the right individuals to work with but if you have more money than time then there are ways to intelligently spend your advertising dollars to show up your affiliate network so what's the best type of youtube ads to really recruit affiliates for let's say you have an affiliate program that you're starting uh what are the best ways to target uh these kind of affiliates using youtube ads if you are a business recruiting affiliates, that's what you're asking? Yeah, that's right. So here's the thing, right? If you're a business recruiting affiliates, right? You got to ask yourself the question, what's more important to me? Make a profit on one, two sales or build a huge list of people interested and bought my product. Okay. And when you can answer those questions, what's more important to you? right? You will find the perfect affiliate relationship because if people that only care about their business and like making one sale, getting the one customer, mm -hmm. it, they always have like, they'll give affiliates 10% cookie for 30 days and all that kind of weird stuff. What would motivate you to keep promoting an offer? What are, what are the, what are, what are, what are like, what are, I'm getting paid to promote offers. But what would motivate, I'm looking at myself two years ago, just a year ago, you know, and I still promote a lot of products on the back end, affiliate products, right? But what makes us promote these affiliate products, continuously put our money into traffic, right? One, it's the, the commission, right? right? The, the, the excitement of an average affiliate of being paid huge commission. Number two is the sales funnel commission, right? If there's no sales funnel, that's fine. But what is the bottom line commission for an affiliate? What is their, why should I send someone? Because if a person you send over, we close them, it's $750. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you got to have a good offer for your affiliates as well, right? There's a million, gazillion, a billion, a trazillion, right? And when you have media companies like ours, we make sure that we recruit affiliates. That's what we do. You know what I mean? We start an affiliate relationship. And then we put it in places that recruit affiliates and gain affiliates for this offer. We build those affiliates offers. So if you, as a business owner, if you want to recruit a lot of affiliates, here's what you need. You need a really good reason for them to do that. Right. And you need to wave off some of your profits, right? Some of your profits, take off the hat, right. And say, I'm going to put it aside. Cause here's the cool part. Your affiliates are going to drive twice as much or three times as much traffic as you can do by yourself at any single point. Mm -hmm. I say two, three, but then we look at Tony Robbins and you know what? In 10 days, having almost half a million people sign up for a webinar, ah, you can't do it by yourself. <laughs> Even if you're Tony Robbins, okay? Mm -hmm. Even if you're Tony Robbins and you have an amazing following and, and you know what I mean? Everybody literally knows you for 40 years. You can't do it by yourself. You got to recruit affiliates. 
Do you know what I mean? And 10 affiliates, 20 affiliates are going to do that mass volume. Why? Because the offer is really hot, right? The offer is fair. We're driving the traffic. You're doing the sales. It's almost 50, 50 split. You know what I mean? Right. Because with our, without our traffic and our audience, you got nothing. You got your dollars spent into advertising converted into dollars earned. So if you want to have a great affiliate program for people, first thing is give them something really good that they can't say, Oh, I'm not, there's no way I'm stopping promoting this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And always make it better for them. Right. Because every time you make it worse, you lose affiliates. That's right. You know what I mean? So you, you constantly have to make it better for them. You constantly have to offer them more money, more bonuses, more, more, you know what I mean? More reasons to come back and, and to make more money. Right. And that's the key. You gotta, right. if, if you want affiliates, you got to just make sure that, you know, they're happy. Not just ask yourself, okay, what's the average? I have, I have a business. They ask them, well, what's the average in it? 10% is like some average in your industry, but you want to track affiliates, put 30. Because you know what, when they're gonna when they're gonna go to ClickBank or they're gonna go to different websites and they're gonna look for your affiliate or go to your Zoom affiliate or whatever you, you know what I mean your 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 sales uh, so your your how's it called I forgot but but when they go into their platforms and they log in and they search by commissions right yours in inside your niche your show shows up first here's the reason for you. <laughs> that's number one, right? And when the numbers are made, you have a little bit of higher EPC than everybody else. Your equity per click, which is very important for affiliates to send you clicks. Mm -hmm. So everything bumps up. It's not a big, so you give away your profits, you give away another 20%, but you bump up in all these platforms and you become number one affiliate uh, offer in your, in your market. Yeah. That's what you want to do. You want to be in the number one affiliate offer in your market. You don't want to do anything. You know what I mean? That's how you do it. You do a research. See what's the average they're given and give out as much as you can. Awesome. Even so though going back to YouTube ads and yeah. uh, the, the ability to, to run uh, what's known as split tests change from online marketing forever. You know, if you want to compare really two different versions of a website or a landing page against each other and see which one does a better job of converting visitors into customers or users into leads, you need to know the basics to, to first to run seamless campaigns. So David, let's talk about the art of split testing and how can we best maximize the efficiency of our campaigns, our YouTube ad campaigns uh, using this strategy? Well, without going into the nitty gritty of things yeah. and the high tech and the tech mumble jumble, let's think about the consumer first, right? What are we trying, what are we trying to get, get from our consumer to do, right? If we can understand what we're trying them to do, right? Are we trying them to make them buy something or are we trying to, to have them opt into something? Like what, what are we trying to do there? We can understand what type of advertising we need, right? That's number one. Um, number two is if you look at, if you look at, you know, you can look at shorter ads towards longer ads and kind of get into that. But here's, here's the thing, right? If you're going to YouTube, YouTube is really well known for the statistics of it. You know what I mean? How many views I got, my click through rate. They still do that in the ads. They still show you the value and your average view rate. You know what I mean? How many people actually viewed for how long and, and they give you a really good chart, right? So if you're just starting out and you have no idea how to do video ads, just throw an ad out there, blah, 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 a couple of mumble jumble. You know what I mean? There's different formulas and do this and do that and read Russell's, Russell's books and read John, John Pemberty here and this guy there and bam, bam, bam. All these guys is going to give you different formulas. Right. But here's the thing. You go, you pick a formula, craft your little 40 second, two minute script, whatever it is that you want to say to your audience and you throw it out there. Okay. YouTube will show you how many people you're losing. Like what's the average view rate, right? It's going to give you a very nice curve. It's never going to be straight. It's what has like a linear kind of thing. You're going to lose a lot of people right away in the beginning. And then some people will stay with you till almost the call to action all the way till the end, right? So the more people you can retain all the way to the end, and then that will give you that statistics. And then you would know, okay, what should I do next? So here's the thing, right? You look at your curve and you say, oh my God, in the first five seconds, after the first five seconds, which is the average, like this is the base of you on YouTube, right? You probably know this, skip ad button. Um, everybody knows that skip ad button. So after the five seconds, I have a major drop that tells me that my hook sucks. 
Mm -hmm. So let me change my hook. So I go and I change a little bit of the hook. And I see, boom. Oh, now they're interested. But then after 15 seconds, I lose all of them. Again, why? Because sometimes I'm staying over there, right? And then I see. Now, I look at it and I slowly, slowly create new videos until it's fairly optimized. That's like you would do. You would keep running whatever is successful, go and change it up a little bit, mm -hmm. create that new video, put it right in and, and test it out. How long are your ads typically? Pardon? How, how long are your ads, your ad videos typically? Well, like I said, it depends on what you want to do. If you want people to opt in, you want people, because here's the thing, right? YouTube is very different than Facebook. Right. Facebook is thoughtful advertising. So you catch people, <clears throat> so you catch people while they're doing something and the algorithm works on the potential of them being interested in what, based on your targeting. And people tell Facebook what they're interested in by basically, you know, liking pages, liking posts, engaging with content, talking to their users on the messenger, like all that stuff. That's how you tell Facebook what your interests are, right? Slowly, slowly harvest your um your engagement on on the platform to kind of create an avatar from you so advertisers can can tackle you right so i don't know if because you liked you know grant cardone's page that will tell me that you really go and buy grant cardone's product mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not i'm not convinced right like right there but it works okay because some people who clicked the I like Grant Cardone, they're actually, they're going to buy his shit. But it doesn't mean that everybody is going to do that. So we got to kind of think about it. And the thoughtful advertising it works in a way where here's the thing with Facebook. Facebook, you got to look at it in the long run, 30, 60, 90 days. Because sometimes you'll catch people on Facebook because people are interested in Grant Cardone. You'll catch them inside Grant's sales cycle. He is warming them up. It takes them over there 30 to 60 days warm up. Mm -hmm. before they actually buy his product he's spewing so much content into them and he's educating them for so much and you want to do a magic with one 40 second ad on that, that and you want to do some magic with 40 second ad or two minute ad on that interest on facebook it's really it, it, magic happens but that's a cold magic right but not always right youtube is completely different because youtube is not thoughtful youtube is intent based just like google mm -hmm. so if I would have wanted to target people who like Grant Cardone, for example, I will go to keywords of people who typed in, who is Grant Cardone? Grant Cardone products, buy Grant Cardone product, right? Buy Grant Cardone real estate, buy Grant Cardone courses, right? Because guess what? <laughs> they lifted their hand and say, hey, where do I buy this, <laughs> right? And here comes the YouTube ad, comes around, they might have, put that on Google. They might've put that on YouTube, right? Targeting those keywords, those intent based keywords are going to be much more expensive, a hundred percent, much more expensive. Clicks are much more expensive. Leads are much more expensive because they're intent based. So what we know about leads that are coming from YouTube, right? It's people who are interested will not only raise their hand. I like Grant Cardone. There was, I'm, Hey, I'm seeing this ad because I Googled buy Grant Cardone stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then comes around the, the affiliate advertiser and says, hey, you, you want to Grant Cardone stuff? Here, click here to opt in here. You want to get this free package from Grant Cardone stuff? Yeah, I do. I wanted to buy it a few days ago. I've searched for it on Google. That's right. So it's a complete different, different thing. So if you, if you go into that platform, right, and you start kind of playing with that, you can play with your entire message, right, by just throwing it out, right? Throw, throwing it on the platform, the platform runs it to those users that have that intent, that pure intent. They tell you, and then you adjust by and then run your split testing. Yeah. Without the mumble jumble. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's talk about uh, the ads themselves. And like the videos, I know a big reason why people tend to stay away from advertising on YouTube is they don't have the big budget to create you know, a video. What can you say to those sort of to those sort of people who have those challenges you know, about creating a high quality. Go to Fiverr, <laughs> pay 40 bucks and create a video ad. That I just told you my secret. <laughs> okay. I just literally 
told you how we sell five hundred dollar four ninety seven for two YouTube videos of up to a minute. You go to Fiverr, mm -hmm. you look for ads you need for that particular. Just search, like literally. Like if you look at my Fiverr profile, I have categories for different things. Why? Because I work a lot with this platform. I can pull up videos for anything. Why? Because there's freelancers out there that can create videos for anything. You're struggling with taking your, your phone out and recording a video for yourself. No problem. Go to Fiverr, <laughs> pay someone 50 to a hundred bucks. Think about the video you want to do. Go to Fiverr <laughs> and get that video done. Right. You can have images. You can have, you know, you can create really cool videos without really speaking. And if you have, if you're shy about speaking, write the script, go to Fiverr, and get someone to read it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And get someone to record it for you in, in a voice that you're not ashamed, scary, conscious, you know, all this stuff. Go to Fiverr. Yeah. Pay someone 50 bucks. You know what I mean? If you just think about it, right? How long does it take you to do a video? Oh, three hours. I can't do it. Pay someone 20 bucks an hour. He'll do your video. So spend 60 to a hundred dollars on Fiverr. <laughs> mm -hmm. And bam, you have the most converting video. Here's the cool part. You had a video done. Right. You need changes. You go right back to that person. Ch -ch -ch changes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's awesome. Sometimes I'll take a revision, right? I'll take the first model, throw it on YouTube, mm -hmm. give it $100, let it run, see the, the curve I was talking about. And I'll go to him and I say, hey, can you change this and this and this? They'll change it. I'll go throw it again. It works. I pay them. Great. Yeah, so you don't have to know everything. You can definitely leverage other people's uh, skill set. I don't know. I come from a perspective yeah. that I don't know anything. That's great. Even if I worked with your market before, even if I, if, 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 like, I have some coaches, consultants, and traffic, and this, oh, we don't know anything about your customers, unfortunately. No matter... We have two CBD tea brands. Every time. We don't know anything about your brand. We don't know anything about your customer. Every company has very unique customers. Very, very unique customers. And that's, that's where it's at. Awesome. So when it comes to targeting, specifically with YouTube ads, there's so many different targeting methods available for you to use. You know, what's your favorite one uh, to target your uh, the audience that you're looking for on YouTube? Keywords. Keywords. I, there's two things actually keyboards and videos and channels right they're kind of together right why so okay let's say all the stuff that we don't use um there's audiences on youtube i don't really like it because youtube audiences is like facebook advertising mm -hmm. so it's also they're trying to do the thoughtful stuff oh these people they kind of watch in this video so they're very interested in this that's bs you could be watching it because you know someone has a problem or you know, accidentally scrolled in a day of videos or like that for something and it's not really your, your thing. Like I'm, I'm building up a tree house. I've been watching tree house videos, but after that tree house is done, I don't need nothing about tree houses anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't need the construction videos. I don't, I don't need all that. You know what I mean? So I'm not a perfect target for that. So as an audience, I don't really like to use that. What I do like to use is videos. And here's the thing. Let's say you have a problem, right? You, Malcolm, you have a problem. You want to solve, right? You're growing tomatoes. Right. And you want to know how to, you know, tie your tomatoes to cages. What are you going to do? You're going to look it up. You're going to look it up. You're going to go to YouTube. You're going to find a video that answers that question. How to tie your tomato cages proper. Right. You're going to go in. It's a 20 minute video. The guy says, listen, in this short video, I'm going to explain you exactly how to tie tomatoes. And I'm going to show you why I'm doing this. And I'm going to take you through the process. Stay with me until the end. You're going to love it. Here's my tomatoes, how they look. And let me show you the whole entire process. You're like, zoom in boss, mm -hmm. show it to me. Your brain opens up your, your absorption. You go into observe mode. You know what I mean? And you're like, okay, okay. I got to do this. Yeah. Let me write it out. And I'm not joking. Cause I watch videos. I watch, uh, I watch uh, YouTube videos. And when I watch YouTube videos, I take notes. I'm not even joking. I take notes, <laughs> right, of stuff because they're educational. You don't need to buy a course today for a thousand bucks to get really good notes from YouTube videos. It's all out there. And I'm like this, okay? I'm watching. I'm taking notes. My brain is absorbing. It's ready. It's like a sponge now. It's back again to 
to no more marketing, skip out, skip out, skip out, skip out, that mode, my brain is in total different mode. It's in mode of I'm observing, right? I'm watching this video. Suddenly an ad comes by that solves a problem in the tomato market. Okay, so I don't know how to do the cages and I'm observing, but I also have another problem because I have hornworms on my tomatoes. Just an example of one of our clients, okay? I got hornworms, right? And the reason why those work well is because right now, there's a person there that's trying to solve their problem. They're in full observing mode and they're in, in, a, in a state where they're trying to solve the problem. Suddenly, another video comes up that reminds them that there is another problem in the same market, in the same niche, in the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because after you grow those tomatoes, you're going to need a black light and you know it because if you grew them last year and they fail, so that's why you're watching this video this year to know how to do it better this year. But you remember you had those problems as well. So suddenly that video comes out. It goes right into your brain and reminds you, oh, man, there's so many problems. That's why those, video, that's why those uh, uh, ads work really, really well on that end. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you come to a specific channels, okay, and you watch an entire – think about it, Have you ever watched an entire video list of a channel? Yeah. Before. Yeah. Why? I really like the videos. Really like the videos, right? Right. Really like the videos. That's great. But if it's a, a specific channel that talks about growing tomatoes during a specific season, this guy, this lady, doesn't matter. She's like, she's an expert. She just likes doing videos. And you watch the entire video set, right? Why'd you do that? Because you really liked it. Because you really connected with it, mm -hmm. right? Why would I watch an entire channel of how to grow tomatoes? Because I'm passionate about it. It's, it's my garden. Mm -hmm. right that's another channel for you to advertise because again we go back there's so many problems right that's why we can have the video the single video advertising works well and the channel works well you know what i mean why because of the consumer perspective now why keywords work well that's easy because you just went to google and you said i want to buy this yeah horn warm ho i have a horn warm problem what do i do how to get rid of horn warm tomato tomato horn warm you already typed that into Google, and I have a solution for you. Yeah, so it's knowing what your, your audience, what your target audience, what their pain points are, listing them out, and tailoring your ads and your content to that. So when they're searching Because forward, there's hundreds of yeah. thousands of people that tailor content mm -hmm. for people, for your customers right now on YouTube. The reason they tailor content for them because they get views, they get advertising, and they make a little bit of money, and they put an affiliate link in their description, and they make a little bit of money of that. But there's hundreds of thousands of creators right now on YouTube that are serving videos to your customers to solve problems for your customers, which you can come around, give them a little push for just like literally for two minutes. <laughs> just let, stop everything you're doing for 30 seconds and watch the solution for another problem you have in this niche. Great. So, and you'll never see it again because you're watching tomato ads and you'll never ever see it in your PS4 ads. Right. So you also as a consumer know that right now I'm watching this. I'm already engaging with the show me the, 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 the stuff. I got to take the action right now. I'm never going to see those tomato ads ever again. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, David, as we start to wrap up this session here, I would love Absolutely. to- I would love for you to give something of value to leave with the audience. Do you have any parting advice for our audience? Uh, something actionable to get started with today. Something actionable to start with today. So I gave you the course, a little course um, that I uh, I'm promoting on my uh, on my profile in the ClickFunnels uh, funnel uh, Rolodex. Mm -hmm. um, it's a start. It's a it's a YouTube start course. Um, it's actually one of the what I did is I had uh, we have a client that spends five thousand dollars in ads over a week. We typically start his campaigns between, you know, we start with $500 small campaign a day and then we scale it to $5,000 um, on the weekly scale. It's okay. going to be done really fast and typically takes us about 10 days to spend all that money, um, even less, spend all that money. And uh, what I did is I kind of, I sat down and I said, hey, man, this is really cool. Maybe let me, let me film the step by step how I do this, like, because I do this so many times. And let me just film that. And I filled it up how from, the thought process, how we start thinking, right? Going to find a document in there um, as well that will take you the thought process of how, you know, to think keywords, how to, you know, not just like there's, you know, because keyword, how do you, 
how do you think what they say? Like, what, what would what would they say? You know what I mean? When they go to Google, what are they going to type to buy this? Especially as an affiliate, it's really difficult. Uh, so I give you a little. Uh, there's a video there that takes uh, us through the thought process of understanding the niche and diving in, uh, understanding how to you know find the right keywords, do a keyword research. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, we could be thinking that hey, they want to go in and they want to type in something specific and you know, after you do a research, no one is actually typing that besides you. So, you know, you don't want to target that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So we go through that process from keywords, from understanding where it is, how to create YouTube ads, really quick ones. I, I actually spill all the beans with my Fiverr techniques, freelancer, and all the rest of the platforms and softwares that we use in the background, plus the scaling part. The only thing that is not there is obviously, you know, um, um, yeah, basically it's all there. I thought I thought we, we 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 the only thing that wasn't there is how to assess the videos and to do split testing. Um, so, but I just remember that we, I I put that in as well. Uh, so you pretty much have literally everything between split testing, reading your ads, and stuff like that that you could do. There's a Trello board in there. Uh, Trello board for those of you guys who don't know, it's um, project management. So there is a step by step on how to get from no video ads, no idea what's going on, to boom, uh, ads launched in 72 hours. Uh, I tell Fiverr, okay, Fiverr, don't, if you can't do videos, let's do Fiverr, okay, you don't know how to record videos on your phone, that's okay, you got Fiverr, that's okay, no one, no one's perfect, you know, you, there's, there's things that we're good at in our business, there's things that we're not, and if videos you're not good at, that's fine, um, right, um, and take you through that process of how we actually do that, because again, we, we can't record videos for our customers. Mm -hmm. I can't, if I had to advertise for you, I can't record videos for you. <laughs> I have to create those somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you can't do videos, what am I going to do? Right? So I have to create and those work really well. So we'll take you through that process. There's a Trello board there. There's the, there's the, there's a book there on how to structure your campaigns. There's an ebook there. There's like a bunch of goodies. Uh, you guys could have, I had some really good feedbacks uh, on that little course, getting some really good feedbacks on the funnel world as well for, so I'm really excited. So you could definitely take that, sit down, watch it. It's about, I think it's about totally about an hour, uh, the whole entire thing. I didn't want to make it, you know, something complicated. And I also didn't make it anything exclusive um, that, that, that is crazy. Um, it's just, you know, simple way. We spend tens of thousands of dollars a month every month on YouTube. Awesome. Yeah, ec excellent. Make sure you guys check out that information. Thank you, David. Uh, why don't you let everyone know how they can get in touch with you and where you're hanging out at. Um, my most favorite place to hang out is my Facebook account. Is my uh, no, I admit it. Uh, I'm not really not good at Instagram. Instagram is kind of my my weak spot. So if you message me on Instagram and I'm not replying, that's not because I'm an asshole. I just don't barely go in there. Um, but uh, Facebook's probably the best uh, the best place to find me. Uh, my profile is public. We do a lot of cool stuff. We have a lot of cool software. That we're using for uh, hopefully we don't get banned but we're using testing out some different cool software on my uh personal profile account the traffic software so uh yeah facebook is my best spot so if you need anything uh you'll find me on facebook as easy as that david moore i'm right there awesome and we'll link to all of this on the summit page below the interview so you guys can get access to david so david thank you so much for the information it's been awesome absolutely 100 percent. thank you for having me and uh Again, if you guys uh, have any questions, let us know if we can solve your journey, help you out, get that, uh, get that going. Don't make it. I always say I, I, I'm dealing with a lot of people and, you know, because we talked a little bit about ads and video ads and stuff like that, our brain tends to overcomplicate things mm -hmm. right away. As we think, we right away tend to overcomplicate things. The trick I found is to simplify things okay. because when we take the overcomplicating and retwist it back. It becomes nice and simple and executable, right? So some people, they choke when I say, hey, we need video ads. Mm -hmm. I'm not a TikTok celebrity yet. I'm not TikTok famous. I can't do that, okay? You don't need to do that, right? And if you don't know how to do that, you better not do that at all, um, okay? So less overcomplicating, simplifying, so yeah, definitely. Simplify, make it happen. Make your dream a reality. Great. And I want to thank all of you guys for tuning into the Super Affiliate Biz Leads Automation Summit for stepping up your game to become super affiliates and make an impact in the world, which is the purpose of this summit. I'm your host, Malcolm Cesar. 
be sure to grab your all access pass before the opportunity expires. And I'll see you guys in the next session.